everyone! Welcome back to Money and Chi Daily Live Stream. So before we start again, let me um, say hi to our uh, daily viewers. <laughs> Thank you, Murphy Santos. Welcome back. Uh, Janine Madronio. Um, good evening. Welcome back. Herme Ne Gilda Jr. Hello. Um, Jonah JM. Ramon Abelia and JP Tare. Hello to all of you guys. Thank you for um, watching every day. <laughs> Sino yung mga nakas... I was waiting for 25k. Ah! <coughs> Actually, nainggit nga ako dun sa, ano eh, nakabili ng Bitcoin kasi wala akong BP. <laughs> wala akong pambili. So, um, I only have $100 at that time. So, I was able to buy at 31k. Pero, yon Pero, good naman kasi yung um, husband ko sabi ko, bumili ka ng, ano, 30,000. So, he was able to get in at 30,000. So, he's gained already. Pero ako, naka-negative pa. <laughs> uh, still recovering. Pero, we'll discuss the Bitcoin, ano rin, chart in a while so that you can base your move. Ba uh, you can um, decide on what to move or what to do based on that, right? Um, of course, again, before we start, do your own research. Whatever we talk about here is for educational purposes. So I want you to um, do or dig deeper than what we discuss here. But of course, we give you very good information no? so that you can decide on your trades as well. And today we'll also discuss continuation of the opening or using the eToro platform. Okay. And okay, so let's start now. I'm going to share with you the press mat. Of course, first things first, we have to discuss the uh, new market or uh, news market movers. Yeah. By the way, guys, I'm trying to um, turn this I know, episodes to a podcast. <laughs> I tried it last night, pero hindi ko pa siya na finalize. Pero I'll update you as soon as possible once ready na yon. Pero I think it's it's ano, medyo late na syempre, uh, when we do discuss this news, it's current date, right? So right now before actually the market opens and if I even if I upload the video or the podcast the next day, um, it's still late for those who will use it as an information going forward kasi late ano kumbaga one day later siya anyways so um first thing iran sets up challenge for biden with nuclear ramp up so i tried to read a little bit about this and um i'm not sure if you know the ano ha the fight or the like silent war in the middle east and big powers like um communists and usa there's still you know <laughs> that silent war going on and i think these are the things that these countries are still doing like eto si iran ang allies niyan is china and russia so yun yung mga kakampi niya and sino yung kalaban nila usa saudi arabia ganyan so as you can see if those things that are you know doing unrest fighting Whenever they want to create like fight against each other, they do it in another country. So Iran will fund, let's say, Iraq or something else. So ayon, nagaaway away sila don. And this one, um, Iran wants to remove some of the sanctions, no, from USA, and that's why they kidnap or <laughs> kidnap patawag don. Um, this one ship from South Korea. To actually push Biden to remove the sanctions. They want Biden to use that or the first um, agenda of Biden to do that. Because um, I think the Iranians will have their um, elections this coming June. And that's why they're really pushing for it. Because that is very important for them to actually win again the election. And that's why there's going to be a lot of still uncertainties going on in the market definitely hopefully there's no 
war that's gonna happen, no? But um, upon reading this, I think China is very happy because you know, kakampin nila yung Iran, and because of that, na na lilipat yung attention from China U.S. trade war to Iran as of the moment. So, they're very quite happy about this. Pero, yun, let's see. It's not a good thing, right? Diba? Kasi, syempre, um, there's a lot of innocent lives that are at stake at for these things. And, anyways, who knows? Baka gusto talaga nila mag-push ng war because that will give them, uh, alam nyo na, <laughs> benefits. Pero, yeah, yun lang naman. For, ano, that's just speculation, no? so we are entitled for our own um, ideas. That's just what I think as of the moment. I don't imply or I don't tell you guys to think the same way. Um, yeah, we can talk about. <laughs> if you want more resource, uh, resource of you know learning about that, yung <coughs> sa sa yung trade wars yan and silent war within this Middle East. I can share with you the links of those, ano, um, napakadaling intindihin. Kasi may ligaw manood ng mga mabilis na history, ano, uh, videos. Kasi ma short-term attention span ako. So, uh, I can give you resource that will help you as well na mabilis lang and it's easy to understand. So, let me know. Comment if you want, and I'll send. You, uh, I'll comment in the the link later. Hmm. Anyways, next one is uh, Treasury yields climb as traders eye further stimulus. So this is very important, guys, especially if you're trading stocks. Because um, every time the interest rates goes up, uh, usually the stock market goes down. Bakit kamo? When the interest rate is high, definitely lalo na Treasury. Treasury, um, bonds, notes, treasury, everything <laughs> is considered always as zero risk or risk-free, right? So every time you have to use like interest rate, you need a risk-free rate, a uh, risk-free rate plus premium. So the risk-free is always pegged at government, and US is kind of the um, best government. How do you call that? Um, the le less the le le least risk in terms of um, government, de ba? Because every government, every country has their own country risk as well. So, um, in all of those countries, we peg USA as the risk free. So it's super risk free, de ba? <laughs> Parang it it always comes down to like US will always be able to pay. That's what it means, no? So US will never default. That's that's what's the thinking. Of course, there would be chances. Who knows, diba? Right? But at the end of the day, as of the moment, and what everybody uses, U.S. never defaults. So, yeah. So, if U.S. Treasury, a government issued stuff or <laughs> um, instrument, um, is risk-free and the interest rate is going up, you will put your money there, diba? Right? Of course, you get interest rate up. And at the same time, sure ka na mababalik yung money mo. Of course, you will choose that, diba? So every time the interest rate goes up for treasury yields, <laughs> then those stock market will definitely or have a high chance of going down. And it also relates to Philippine market. Bakit? Because a lot of um, traders in Philippines are, or funds that invest in Philippine market are, from US, so there might be a lot of foreign selling coming forward. So if you just, you know, trading as well in Philippine market, so this that's why this is very important, guys. So this one might trigger, cause yesterday it also triggered. You know, yesterday they also announced that they're increasing, or I mean the yields are increasing, and this today is also the same. So if you are trading yesterday, you will realize that a lot of stocks actually turned red. Super reddish uh, bloodbath. Uh, but we were able to salvage because we have some positions that are really good and are supposed to go up yesterday. So anyways, those are the things that you need to know definitely if you're looking at um, investing later um, in stock market, you know that it might go down. But what is good about that is because, of course, when you want to buy, it has to be lower 
lower, di ba? So, this might be a shopping day for you. But the thing is, of course, you have to take into consideration until when will this be. Kasi syempre, if they're using stimulus, di ba, they, they already accepted or they already approved stimulus. So, doing the stimulus will definitely... Um, they need funding for that. So, how do they fund that? It's um, getting or issuing treasury bills, right? With better interest because nobody will put their money in treasury bills. They will all put their money in stocks, di ba? Kasi that has higher. Um, ay, kumbaga, kung baba lang din naman yung kikitain ko, di, doon na lang ako sa stocks, di ba? Kahit na may risk, malaki naman yung kikitain ko. So, that's the thinking of an investor. So, um, they need to increase the rates a little bit. And of course, um, I think that stimulus will take long time. No? So I think it will take months, maybe the first quarter. So as you can see, um, the, the stock market might be not very or volatile for the first quarter of the year. So yun lang naman, until everything actually was able to recover. But at this point, they're all relying on government to survive. So, um, this is very critical, especially for the first quarter. No? So, we'll discuss that later on in the future. So, we will monitor that naman. The next thing is, yun, so, US-China trade war. Um, if you don't know, China and Taiwan has a very long conflict for a long time. <laughs> long, long, long time. So, I have a friend before. She told me, because she, she learned Chinese in Taiwan. And then she told me that in Taiwan, um, yung kalsada nila has a railing in the middle. I don't know. I've never been to Taiwan. If you've been there, you can um, uh, tawag dito, confirm that. So, yung, yung streets daw nila is designed in a sense na may railing so that the tanks of China cannot enter yung... Um, ano nila, <laughs> yung streets nila. And then, um, there's also like yung mga mountains. Now, if you use binoculars, you can see there's always alert people who's, you know, ready to to shoot anytime there's a conflict. And China's always been threatening them for a long time. And, which is not good, no? <laughs> um, malas lang si Hong Kong kasi uh, China was really able to get them. Pero Taiwan, for a long time, has been struggling. And they're really fighting for their rights. They're really fighting for, you know, for for the future. <laughs> for for the, yeah, for them. Ayaw talaga nila ng communism, ng communist China. They don't like it and... They've, there's always been this war against them. So, uh, Trump, of course, is kind of crazy. He wants to really f do something that irritates China. So, doing a deal with with Taiwan or like making it easier to do like a trade deal with with Taiwan and US can actually spark some, I know, conflict then with China, deba. Right? And I think that's that's actually the target of of Trump or the U.S. I don't know if it's the same with with I know with who's this with Biden. But the thing is, like, if Taiwan wants to be free, why ba pinipilit ni China kunin siya? Ang lang naman ng land niya, ba? And they're progressive right now. Why do they want to get Taiwan? Why don't they just move forward and let the the people decide, de ba? Because if Taiwan wants to be independent, that's them. They want to be independent. Diba, just give it to them. That's just a piece of, you know, land. I mean, I don't understand these wars and territories and all that. I mean, what does it give people, diba? If th those people who lives there, who wants to stay in Taiwan, if they want to move to China, they lumipat sila sa China, then there's no point for China to actually, you know, regain Taiwan. For what, diba? They're so big. They're progressive. They're... Um, they're good. Uh, eh, kung super hirap sila, fine. Pero I don't understand this, these things that's going on. And, you know, it's unfair for Taiwan din as well because there's a lot of countries that doesn't want to do a lot of trade with them because of this issue with China. They're scared of China. So, China's definitely pushing these countries to, alam niyo, super bully lang. Not fair. <laughs> so, I really hope Taiwan can actually move forward on this, right? Oh yeah, later we'll talk about BNGO. I have a new, so I'll share that with you later. Um, again, so this last two naman, uh, so Trump impeachment, I don't know 
why they still have to push Trump for the last eight days, no? Because uh, 20th of January will be Biden, na? So, I'm not sure if they're gonna really push hard on this because I think once Trump is impeached, he will not be able to run again in the future. So, or any position in the government. So, I think that's why they are really trying to push impeachment on Trump before the end of his term, which is on the 20th. That's eight days. Um, and then, more parts of China lockdown as virus cases spike ahead of WHO visit. Malaysian stocks also fall, fall because it um, the king declares state of emergency to curb COVID cases. So as you can see, COVID is still there. It's still, you know, looming around, <laughs> making uh, making everyone... And ano tawag dito? Hindi okay, no? So, not ready for for actually um, recover. So, there's still an issue, COVID. Don't forget that. Until that's resolved, then that's the only time that we can actually move forward. Okay? So, I hope you understand the news um, today. So, we can move forward to our next topic. But before that, let's just read some of the comments, no? <laughs> Okay. Hello, guten tag, Ken Uy. <laughs> yes, interest rate affects stocks and also if there are new news about the Federal Reserve sa US. Yeah, so those are the things that you always have to um, check out. Um, Saithan Dra. Hello. Hi, Chi. So, call financial rin eh. Especially dito. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and you, yeah, we have heard about this feud for a long time ago, Nipa. And then Rosaline will discuss BNGO later on. So um, we'll just go through our next topic now, which is, again, as discussed last time, uh, we'll talk about the use of eToro. So yesterday, we talked about how to open an account. And I hope, guys, you know how to open an account. Now, you can use my link in the description box. Please use that to open an account. And then, after that, we will... Now, I will show you how to use the platform. So, um, we'll try to cover as much as possible that we can. I, I, would, I just want to allot 15 minutes of, of this, no? <laughs> uh, so that we can continue talking about stocks after that, diba? So, um, if you have already requests, then we can talk about it. Uh, you can type in the comment section. So, and hopefully we can cover that in one hour. Yesterday, we spilled a little bit, no? So, we'll try to make it as sharp as possible one hour so that we don't waste your time, diba? So, right now, we are looking at BTC and BN. Go. So if you have other stocks on on your lookout, just make sure you comment that so that we can continue or mobilize yung move natin later. Okay. So um, I'll just have one minute break for me to prepare the eToro account on how to use it, and then we'll come back. Okay. So give me one minute. I'll have a short break. Uh, I'll definitely. I'm not sure if some ads will play, ha. Huh? Um, but if ever, don't skip it, please. <laughs> and if you can also like the video now, para it can help us um, get rich other people. Uh, I mean, rich people, <laughs> uh, so that they can join our um, live sessions. So please like the the video now. Okay, give me one minute. I'll be back. Thank you.
Hi guys, welcome back. <laughs> Ayan, I just prepared no. So, um, as you can see, this is uh, my portfolio. Hindi ko na tinago, di ba? <laughs> so, um, so this is what you will. Ah, uh, shoot, sorry. Paka mag change yung ano. Okay, hindi ko pala pwede palitan yung size ng ano nagbabago yung yung ano ko sa live screen. Sorry ha, wait lang. I extend ko lang. Ayan. Okay. So, now you can see, I'll move to virtual portfolio muna, ha? So, virtual portfolio. So, that's how you do that. <laughs> okay. Go click this, trade, and then real portfolio and virtual portfolio. So, make sure lang, like, when you start, try first the virtual portfolio, di ba? And after that, you move to the real account once you have... I don't know, once you have confidence on what to trade or how to trade na. So first, you can see on the left side, there's watch list. This is your portfolio. So this is what I bought before when I was doing it. So as you can see, I bought Apple when um, during the time I'm doing virtual. I just want to feel, you know, if I buy Apple. So right now, it, it gained me 8%. So hopefully, I, I really I did that. But anyways... So this is the first one. I'll show you later, you know, how to open an account uh, or uh, open a trade. And and then, yeah, CFD later, we'll discuss how it works, diba? Um, I'll add that to the questions. If ever we cannot finish today discussing that, then we can discuss that tomorrow because we have naman the whole week to discuss eToro. By the way, guys, um, I will not be online or we will not have a live session on Thursday kasi meron akong appointment sa government ha. Just so you know guys, baka hanapin niyo ako. Sa so Thursday, I have exactly the same time. I have to go to government office and get my residence card. So, I will not be there in, in Thursday. Pero continue tayo ng Friday, okay? So, maging absent ako. Nag Paalam lang ako sa inyo, guys. So, this is the portfolio. So, if you want to see what you have already, what you bought and everything, this is the portfolio. Watch list. You use this because you are taking or you are adding some companies that you want to look at. So, you can change this, right? So, like for example, Warren. So, I created this watch list because these are the companies or stocks that Warren Buffett has. So, if I want to see that and uh, how they are moving, syempre, some of them are already high, diba? So, I'm waiting for an entry point. So, I put all of their stocks and then I can see, oh, ano ba yung mga bumaba, diba? So, as you can see, let's say snow. Snow, uh, bumaba siya, 2.3. So, check ko lang yung chart niya. So, later, we can discuss naman the chart. And then, um, I'll check if that's the right time to buy, diba? So, bibili ako, and then that will go to my portfolio once I buy. So, watch this is very important for you to actually know kung, um, kailan, kung ano yung mga stocks na nilulook out mo or gusto mong bantayan para makapasok ka. So, you can create what kind of list. Maybe, gusto nyo, chi-chow, ganyan. So, you can see the stocks that I have, and then you can time when to buy and when to sell, diba? Um, malay mo, mas magaling ka mag-trade sa akin. So, you can just look at the stocks that I have and then you can buy and sell yung time na gusto mo or based on your analysis, ba? So, there's also like invest 2, 3, 5. So, this one, I, sh I should delete some of them kasi syempre pag una kung ano-anong watchlist yung ginagawa mo, ba? May, may watchlist ka, may forex ka. <laughs> Ayan. So, create a watchlist na um, will give you different ano, analysis, diba? or different fields. Like, these stocks are very good fundamental stocks, so you create a watch list, watch list for high or big companies. Actually, I wanted to, this one is DJI A or Dow Jones. So, these are the stocks under Dow Jones. So, I just put everything here so that I know, like, which ones are still low and I can enter or kung ano yung bumaba, pwede kong pasukin, ganyan, diba? So, you can change this to weekly, ganyan, one month, and then one day. So, this this one you can do. Anyway, so that's one watch list. And then portfolio, again, if you bought na, it's gonna be here. So, later on, I'll discuss as well how you can set price alarm, no? So, you can also alarm. 
um, let's say you're waiting for a stock to hit this price, you can set an alarm and then eToro will notify you, okay? The next one, and I think this is very nice then, the news feed, no? So in news feed, you can see these are the people that I follow sometimes or, or something that relates to my portfolio. So this is here already, they post it here, no? So like, for example, I have BTC, so some of the feed, from BTC comes here and then you can get a lot of information know what are the people buying right now so as you can see by BNGO superb technology blah 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 JAGX so you can see a lot of people are tweeting or tweeting <laughs> posting about these stocks and then therefore you will think mm, if they're all talking about these stocks what is this stock about and then you can do more research about that so it's very important that you check the news feed to know what people are talking about what stocks are good for today or in the short term but take note guys some of these are short term lang diba so don't get to the point na i buy tapos i forget after one year bagsak na pala diba kasi some of these are swing traders there are day traders ganyan so you cannot really um just buy and that's it no you have to be an active trader <laughs> always don't just sleep no, wag niyo tulugan yung pera niyo. And then, next one is discover part. So, trade markets. Actually, this one is also good. If you are those people who trade momentum or news, ganyan. But, of course, dapat nauna ka sa news, diba? So, I like this part kasi you can um, check yung market movers. And usually, if you want to see ano ba yung pinakamalaking nag-increase, like for example, ship. I entered ship yesterday because I saw this, oh my god, malaki yung momentum niya. And then I have to check, will it continue? So that's the question, diba? Will that momentum continue? If it will, then you can still enter now. And maybe, kasi sometimes, yung stocks will rally for 2-3 days, diba? So nasa ilang day na siya, or may itataas pa ba, may makukuha pa ba ako dyan. So if that's the case, then you can enter. So you can see here big movers, diba? Pero just be careful kasi sometimes there are companies that big mover siya, tapos biglang bagsak next day. So, nadadali rin ako dyan. So, I also have some mistakes there. So, make sure that whatever you get into, you research harder. <laughs> you check the chart, you check the fundamentals, what is the catalyst, why is it moving, ganyan. And then, of course, you can see, so, PI, and then BNGO, we have that already. Naked, NACD, it's a lingerie or swimsuit company. Actually, I was... Looking at this yesterday, because this is one of the stock also that everyone has right now. And parang maganda yung ano niya, momentum, maraming bumibili. Pero kasi I check, ang panga talaga no. <laughs> Di maganda yung fundamentals niya. So I'd rather not risk it just in case something went bad. That's not good. Pero in terms of chart, it's super bottom siya. So, deep to deep na siya. And I don't think it will go down further than that or if it might. Pero just looking at the sales, for five years, it's really not doing well. So, there's nothing for me to actually put my money on that. I, I don't want to risk it like that. Diba? Especially if I have copiers. So, that's why we didn't buy a naked yesterday. But we got into ship because it has some a little bit more um, um, future. So, if you look at its chart, before we can check that later, it was around 100, maybe 2 years ago. And even at this price right now, it's currently 0.82. Um, I checked IBKR and some of the analyst targets is around $5 per share. So, I think there's still some space to go up, you know. So, I think that's why I got in. Pero, yeah, we can check later. So, these are the things that you can see. If, of course, especially if you're looking at momentum, no? So, you can check the market movers, what the what um, stocks are being pushed that day. And if those push will continue for the next two to three days. So, you can check that out, diba? So, that's why um, this trade market is very important. And you can also, like, click it again. And then you can see, you know, if you want technology lang, ganyan, ETFs. If you like trading ETFs. Uh, I sold my, I know, um, I just tried doing Nasdaq and then sell it like super short lang. So I gained naman. <laughs> Good thing. And then if you want crypto coins here, you can see um, 
the moves there indices commodities major currencies so um yeah guys so the thing is when you open when you start opening an account there's gonna be a lot of things that you don't understand or stocks that you don't know so that's why i always tell you to find me first find chi chow <laughs> and Add me to your watch list. You can also add me to your watch list, diba. Right? So you can check the stocks that I have and then you can start from that. Or you can start with this, you know, um, top portfolio candidates. Because it, well, for me, because these are the things that I am already into, diba. Right? So like, for example, shop. Shopify is something I wanted to get into, but I'm still waiting for an entry point. So um, this is one of my watch lists, diba. Right? So those are the things that you have to take into consideration. So again, the next one is copy people, diba? Now, if you are, you know, super new ka, bago ka, you can look at these people, diba? I'm not saying I'm the only one that you can copy. There are a lot of people you can copy as well. Um, it's better if you can copy like a little, like minimum two people, but at least your, your, um, how do you call this? Your risk is not 100% on one person or rely, relied on one person. So make sure that you can do that as well. And then you can see the returns, diba? Kung ano yung performances nila. And then you can also check yung portfolio nila, ano yung stocks yung mga binibili nila. And then you can create those ano, watch lists as well based on those stocks that they have. And then you can always filter, diba? Let's say from Philippines, Tapos, who invest in any market, gained at least, let's say, 10% for at least 3 months, something like that. So, you can do that, diba? Those are copy people. And of course, since nandiyan naman na kayo, <laughs> add nyo ako sa watch list nyo, diba? <laughs> if you cannot trade on your own, um, or you're sleeping during that time, make sure that a, a part of your position is copied. Para at least, kahit tulog ka, hindi babagsak lahat ng no position mo in case something went wrong because um, somebody's, you know, uh, how do you call this? Responsible on that part of your portfolio. Okay. So, invest in copy portfolios. I don't understand this. So, anyways. Ah, okay. So, there are portfolios that are very um, how do you call this? Um, per industry or per something, diba? Like, for example, renewable energy. So, this portfolio, I think this is prepared already by eToro for you. So, if you open it, a lot of the stocks inside this is renewable energy. And you can see how it performed, diba? So, every, like, for 2020, this, the renewable energy sector gained 71%. So, if you are a renewable energy believer, you can also open or invest on this okay and if you want to open an account in eToro make sure to use my link okay <laughs> for me I have uh, just to, so you know if if you are trading just stocks there's no commission from eToro but if you trade like ETFs or um, leverage or anything then eToro has commission on top of the spread so just so you know guys that's how it works diba <laughs> And then, of course, club dashboard. So, you you will have a club depending on your tier of how much you put in money in there. So, right now, I'm a gold tier member. It means I have a minimum of 10,000. Current minimum equity for gold is 10,000. But anyone from starting has um, silver, diba? So, there are some perks lang naman with the, the gold. Because you will have your own account manager. So, I have Iris Chan. So, I can just contact her anytime. Call her anytime. Kung malungkot ako. Then, joke lang. <laughs> I can just discuss with her some stuff. You know, I can maybe probably ask for some um, stuff. Or, ano tawag dito? In instructions. Or, like, let's say, news or updates. Or anything from eToro that they produce. Let's say, research studies and all. So, I think I can ask that from them as well. So, but you can click the view, uh, the full list of perks that you have, that you can have if you're those members. So, let's try to open that so just you can see. Okay, so for, these are the tiers, no? So, if you're a silver, anyone who starts gets a silver. And then there's also gold. So, 
crypto staking. Ayan, may mga plus plus, live webcast, daily market summary. Ayan. And then, you just have a dedicated account manager for gold. You have a credit line. And then, you have a market analysis. So, I can just ask them for market analysis every day if I want to. So, these are the things that you get naman if you have higher. Na, yan. So, you can check that later. Much, much later. <laughs> And then you can also invite friends. I think if you invite friends, um, you can, yeah, create a personal link. But uh, please just use my link to share it with your friends. <laughs> please, please naman yun. <laughs> so that's it. Um, and then there are like guides. If ever this is not very clear to you guys, you can check the guide and help. And I think anyone in eToro can help you with that. And of course, you can withdraw funds as well. So if you want to withdraw, this is how it will work. Usually, if you withdraw in, um, how do you call this, in eToro, usually it go goes back to your deposit item. Like for example, if I deposited, the first time I deposited in eToro was using my credit card. So if I withdraw, it will pay back to my credit card okay just so you know if you want to um fund transfer using your bank then it will when you withdraw it will come back to that account as well so just make sure that you know that diba? Kasi baka, uh, i know that it will be very hard to withdraw it using another account if you deposit it in a different account Diba? I think it's very rare that they approve that. So whatever you use to deposit, that's going to be the way to withdraw your funds as well. So make sure that you choose the right way to deposit your account. And I searched a lot about it. I know it's difficult. I know it. maybe it's not even doable. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so we finished today our eToro lesson. So tomorrow we'll discuss again later. So tomorrow we'll probably... Focus on creating a, an alarm for the stocks if you want to buy or sell those stocks or BTC. Opening an account short and buy and long or long blah blah and all that. So and leveraging. So we can discuss that tomorrow, okay? But for today, we can now move forward to the stocks that we wanted to um, check out, okay? <laughs> so let me, give me one minute again to prepare that and then I'll run a little bit of ads. I'm not sure if ads are showing up. Can you comment later kung may lumalabas na ads? But anyways, I'll give me one minute. Please don't skip it, ha? I'll be back in one minute. See ya!
Hi again, guys! <laughs> okay, we'll read some of the comments muna. Hello, mixed videos! Yeah, you can call me mommy or tita. <laughs> Rosaline. Um, hello, Okram J. Ken Uy. I like the new time slot. Perfect for me. Yay! Thank you. Nas magusto nyo yung time slot today. <laughs> Rosaline. Mom Chi, just, I just wonder, full-time trader ka na ba? Ano po ma-advise nyo sa mga newbie na napapaisip mag-full-time? <laughs> Nako, gusto nyo tomorrow discuss natin yung full-time trading. Ako kasi, I was doing full-time trading kasi I have no choice. <laughs> I have to move to, to Germany with my husband. So I, I and it's so hard to get a job in Germany without knowing the language. So for me, what can I do but really to trade full time? Aside from the I I also do consultancy, no? So but my consultancy is just part time. Although it gives me good amount of money, but at the end of the day I have a lot of free time. So and like last time my, my business cassette diba, is not very, doing very good because of COVID. So, what will I do with my free time but to trade, deba? Right? And I think it, it gave me some momentum as well. But whether or not you are supposed to, you know what, we discussed this as well. Eh? Those people who trade the best are those people who have a job. Because you don't have too much emotion on that money. Unless if you're full-time and you're not doing it, deba. Right? Tapos, lalo na baguhan ka, first time ka, as we don't have at least three years experience trading without that feeling yung stress and scariness, di ba? Gumibala ka kung gustong panood sa inyo na video eh, about Bitcoin. Kasi that shows a lot of ano, uh, meaning, lalo na sa mga newbies. Kasi, yun lang. For me, ah, I would suggest you practice first at least two years before or two to three years na may trabaho ka. At least you can and have enough money and then that money you shouldn't touch because if you're relying on that money for your daily needs, that's difficult. That will give you so much stress. At the end of the day, baka bumalik ka rin sa work mo. And if you want sustainability, you have to do it properly, diba? And for me, I'm, I'm telling you, I, I don't want you to do it full time unless you've done it for two, three years and you are sure you are 100% sure na tama yung trades mo, you have a hit rate, you have a perfect strategy on your own. Ha? Don't get into like joining strategy, like this gurus or furus na guru sila tapos they're sharing their strategies to you. Guys, everyone, if you're actually a very good trader, if you are norm, like a, a real good trader, you know that every strategy doesn't work for every person so if they fail to tell you that and they are pushing you forcing you to copy their their strategy then there's something wrong with them because you can just show the different strategies and it's up to you to test it on your own it's up to you to do it on your own and then that's the time that you can actually say okay this works for me okay if it doesn't work for you don't do it yet wag ka yung ma ano ngayon kasi Today, bullish lahat nag-gain ng 70-100%, di ba? Antayin nyo mag-bear market. Antayin nyo na, ano, mawala. Nung nag-bear market, tahimik lahat. O, di ba? Tapos ngayon, nag lahat. Kasi nag-gain na lahat, eh. So, huwag kayong masyadong maniwala ka agad doon. You have to know it for yourself. You will tell yourself when you're ready or not. And if you are napapaisip, it means that you're not 100% sure. Don't go for it yet. Okay? Baka pasalamatan nyo pa ako dahil wo, hindi kayo na-push. Basta, tandaan nyo lang, the best trades happens when you have no emotional, ano, um, ang tawag dito, relation with that money. And because you have a job, then it's something that, you know, hindi ka stressed about it. You can gamble. You can take the, you know, you, you are not thinking for your food tomorrow. You're just thinking about how to um, get those trades. And there are a lot of trades na you close or you you, you stop because na, na stress ka. But if you know you're a, like a real trader lang and you know you stick to your plan, you know that so those trades will actually be correct. No. 
So yun lang, that's that's my thinking. And I really hate those people who push this or parang sinasabi dun sa mga tao na it's okay to be 100% day trader or blah blah. Pakitaan nyo muna kami ng portfolio nyo, no? Na talagang ginawa nyo yun for at least 5 years. Na talagang successful kayo for 5 years. Bago kayo mag-guru-guruan at mag, magsabi-sabi sa mga tao na mag-day, mag, mag-quit kayo ng job nyo tapos mag, ano, <laughs> utang na loob. <laughs> Sorry, ah. Nagagalit ako talaga sa mga ganong tao. Parang, hindi nag-iisip. Masyadong sabik sa likes, sabik sa, sa ganito, sa mga ganyan. Nako. Anyway, so I'm not telling never do it. Never I'm not saying that. Just just practice more. And then once you're ready, then do it. But lalo na kung beginner don't don't. And a lot of people are beginners this time, so wag mo na, okay? Um okay, walang ads. Fine. <laughs> Wala tayong magagawa diyan. Baka in the next month. <laughs> What what time global stock starts trading and end in pH time? So I think it starts around 10:30 p.m. in Philippines, and it closes. I don't really know. Ano bang 10 p.m. in 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 ano? 10 p.m. in Germany plus seven, so around 5 a.m. in Philippine time. Nagsasara yung market. Si Glenn gising eh, nagulat ako or nag-comment pa dun sa post ko. Like, bakit gising si Glenn? Either gumising siya ng maaga for work or talagang hindi siya natulog. <laughs> Ayan. May laman ba si APL? Kilala ko yung guru na yun. Hindi ko kilala yung guru na yun, pero share nyo naman kung sino yun. <laughs> hindi ko talaga gusto yung nagpupush ng mag-full-time trader yung mga tao. Okay, um, <laughs> nagalit ako talaga. Anyways, let's discuss Bitcoin, no? So, we have, ano, 15 minutes left to discuss. <laughs> Sorry naman, nag, nag-rant ako sa inyo. Pero, sabihan nyo rin yung friends nyo na nalaloko ng mga ganyan na mag-full-time. Utang na loob. <laughs> Huwag nyo sirayan yung buhay ng mga tao. Kung gusto nyo kayo, tumira kayo sa probinsya, fine. Pero, wag nyo sirayan yung buhay ng tao. Anyway, so for this one, for Bitcoin, as you can see, di ba, nag, nag-pull back siya ng intense. Um, this this ano, Fibonacci line, we'll discuss this in the future, no? Para you can use it as well. Pero right now, we don't have enough time to discuss that. Um, but as you can see, it pulled back exactly at 20 EMA, no? So, teka, he hide muna natin ito. So, pumasok siya sa 20 EMA, tapos nag-umakyat siya. So, what, what's the next thing to do is to go in the lower time frame and create a trend line. So, right now, everybody's asking, so, ano ba, magkocontinue ba yung downtrend or akit na ba siya, lilipad na ba siya? So, the thing is, it has to break this trend line before you know it's really going up or down. So, Right now, if it doesn't break, it has a tendency to actually go down to the next support, diba? Or it can just work here, diba? It can create a flag. So, right now, as you can see, this is kind of forming a flag. So, the, the thing is, you just have to wait when it breaks this line and then it can continue to go up. So, either it breaks this, ano, 20 MA, dyan na yung last na support niya, or it can go lower to actually... The 50 EMA or uh, yeah at around 26 so there's a lot of hearsay that you can hear in about 26 ganyan so sa nila nakuha yun? this is the one 26,000 um, at this one so for me I've read a lot as well as you uh, and I think yung mga ano naman itong volume naman is not that significant so as you can see among, from the moment it went down, ito yung malaki talaga na volume. And this is caused by <laughs> yung mga beginners, no? yung mga newbie traders. Yan yung naging ano nila. So, na, na, nag-c-stress ang lahat, nag-close lahat ng position. And ako, I didn't close because I know it will go back again. And it it's very ano, respectful of the 20 EMA. As you can see, it always goes there and goes up again. So, very respectful siya. So, I, I have this strong feeling that it's just a healthy correction. And even if it goes to 50 EMA, that's still a healthy correction. Now, if it continues to go below 50 EMA, ah, ibang usapan na yun, then that's definitely 
a bearish ananas signal na. But at this point, you just have to look at this. If it goes up for, from this, then you can re-enter and then just wait. And the, the thing, I think the next ano, gain would be, of course, it will still go here kasi maraming naipit dyan, eh, diba? Um, and then it can go to 50 per per Bitcoin. 50,000. So, yun. Um, ang swerte nung mga naka-pick up dito, wala akong BP. Sobrang nainggit ako. Kasi sa ko sa husband ko. Sa'yo ko, bumili ka na ngayon kasi, ano na yan, um, support level na yan. And he's keep on asking me, sure ka ba? Sure ka ba? Sa'yo ko, sure ako. <laughs> but I'm still thinking like, sure ka ba? Anyway, so, yun naman, umakyat naman. But then again, eto, so, you can either, if you pick it up here, um, just so you know, if it doesn't break, you should sell it as well, and then just wait for another entry point, no? But if it's positive, if it goes up, then just hold it for a long time until it reaches bef uh, no, um, 50s level, so... And then after that, before 50, mag-sell ka naman. Baka naman siguraduhin mong umakapot ka sa 50, maipit ka rin, ba? So, mga 48, 49, lumabas-labas ka na para hindi ka masabay sa, ano, sa hype-hype sa lahat ng mga tao, ba? Wag, pag, wag, wag, ano, ang tawag dito, yung peak hours, ba? Sakay ka ng LRT yung peak hours. So, talagang masisiksikan, ba? So, do your trade before and after that. Wag makipagsiksikan sa LRT. <laughs> yung nakadikit sa wall. Wag ganun. <laughs> so, yun lang. Um, so, let's move forward, no? Si BNGO. So, si BNGO was up yesterday. Pero, as you can see, the candlestick is still red. Medyo not good. Pero, the pre-market is already up by 2.5%, I think. And, this is one news I will share with you. And, I think this is the reason why the stock went up. And, they also have a one week of symposium this week. So, this week, they will show everyone how their technology works. And, that's why this week is very critical, no? Um, so... Yung, yung business kasi nila is like the, ba, ang tawag dito, yung genes mo, they check that and, um, kasi diba, we say that a lot of sickness is genetics. Genetic, diba? And, um, so genetically siya, so this one shows which gene they have to change or, Kasi uso na ngayon yun, alam nyo, sobrang na-happy ako na pag-invest ko sa US stocks. Kasi yan namin palang new technologies na hindi ako aware. So, right now, they can actually remove that gene and replace it, ba? So, <laughs> may mga ganong effect. So, anyways, they, their business is more of the scanning, ba? Before, as you can see, yung stocks nila super low, ba? Na, nasa sense siya, penny stock siya. Because they're trying to sell the... Um, equipment itself. So, yung equipment na yun, what happened is, um, mahal siya, so walang bumibili. So, what they did is, they changed the business model and instead of selling the, um, tawag dito, the equipment, they give it for free and then you will charge based on the use. So, this is very important for um, research. You know? So, if you're researching about this genetic chemerot, then that's gonna be very helpful for you. So, they, they have actually a competition. There's two kasi the other one is clinical, and then this one is more on research, so bigger firm. And they were saying that it's less um, profitable than the other one. So we'll discuss the other one later on. But for now, BNGO is the one moving, so we're focusing on that. So in their symposium, they were saying that the reason why some of the people actually have severe um, reaction on COVID is because of SDK26 gene. <laughs> So, our study shows clearly that many of the severely affected patients carry genetic variants that may cause or at least contribute to the severity of their disease by weakening the effectiveness of the immune response, increasing viral replication, or making it easier for the virus to spread between cells in the body. So, why is it important? Because it's very critical for those na, di ba, who... Who, sino yung mga tao na may ganong gene? So, they have the most um, chance of getting severe um, or extreme result in COVID, ba? As you know, like, my dad had COVID, pero hindi siya masyadong 
um, hindi siya severe, no? And there's a lot of people who had COVID na wala masyadong reaction. But there are some na super intense yung reaction. So, those are the things that very important, no? Sino yung mga tao na yun? <laughs> Baka kung malaman mo sila, it, sila yung pataguin mo. Tapos, di ba? Then, hindi, hindi na sila mamamatay. Hindi na sila ma... Ano. It's very important to know um, those things, di ba? Kung ano yung... Keme, ang tawag dito. Basta, anyways. <laughs> Alam niyo na yon. So, anyways, until now. So, yan. Mukhang push pa rin. Going up pa rin siya. And I'm still hopeful that I can sell at 8. <laughs> yan lang yung masasabi ko. But I'm still looking at this closely. Baka kasi hindi. And I wanted to secure my gain. I already have, I think, 26% gain on BNGO. I wanted to keep that. This is definitely some kind of long term, no? So this week they will definitely have more good news to show how to use their their I know um, technology, you know, and all that. So that's good thing. Anyways, we have three minutes left. Let's look at Ada. I didn't I didn't really get into Ada. Crypto to deba wait lang. Ayan. So, just so you know, guys, it's also standing here. It's almost the same movement with Bitcoin. So, if you're actually investing in Bitcoin and um, most of the cryptocurrencies will move related to that, diba? So, if you just learn to how to un understand Bitcoin, then you would know that once it goes up, probably most of the cryptocurrency goes up. And the reason behind that is because crypto, I like Bitcoin is like their god. Like, not really god, but like the leader of the pack. You know, if there's an acceptance for Bitcoin, most of the um, cryptocurrencies will be accepted. So that's why it's very critical. I think it's very, if you have, uh, no, um, I don't know what coin, I know, ibang... Not eToro, you can also get into Dogecoin, no? So, Dogecoin kasi tinwit ni ano, <laughs> Elon Musk. Pero I don't have, they don't have Dogecoin in eToro, so we cannot get into that. By the way, guys, before ano, we finish, I wanted to show you some video. <laughs> kasi eh, sobrang tawa ko yesterday. So, asan ba yun? Sobrang super funny yun. Wait. Shoot. Um, Versace. Here. Ano ba yan? Hindi ko mahanap. <laughs> Wait lang. So, sige, bukas ko na lang isha-share siguro. Like, di alam ko na kung saan ko hahanapin yun. Sino yung I follow? Anyways, um, di, niretweet ko yata yun. Teka. <laughs> Hindi marunong gumamit ng Twitter. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry naman. Ayan, ito. Ito, ito, ito. Ayan, ayan. Sorry naman. Ulitin natin. Narinig niyo ba yung volume? Hindi ko alam kung narinig niyo yung volume nito. And so, <laughs> wait lang. Mm, yan. So, guys, 
yung mga ano diyan <laughs> stress, 'di ba? Kung kung bago ka, i-close mo kaagad yung transaction mo. So but we discussed this yesterday, no? So hopefully, ano, nagamit niyo naman yung natutunan natin yesterday. Huwag kabahan. <laughs> Huwag kabahan. Huwag mag basa-basa mag-sell, okay? Anyway, so before we close now, I just want to say or uh, read some of the last comments, no? <laughs> mm, Sebastian, kinik ako sa group noon nung nag-recommend ako ng ibang broker. Sino yun? <laughs> Send mo naman sa akin, sinong group yun? <laughs> um, reply na lang, Miss Chi. Agnes, um, Hi, Royal Stan. Can we a- ALB? Wait lang. May oras pa ba tayo? So, sige, super mabilis lang ha. Anong tawag doon? ALB. ALB. Okay, as you can see, medyo steep siya. Pero mukhang mag... Ano naman siya? Didikit naman siya sa, ano... 10 EMA niya. Or it could even go lower to 20 EMA, no? That's the, also the last, ano, resistance. So, that's kind of strong, this 10 or 20. You can um, test buy here at 10 EMA. And then, if it goes down lower, then you add more sa 20 EMA niya. Pero, yun, it can go down to 50 EMA. Pero, f- at looking at the chart lang, I, I think it's gonna push harder or more up. Let's see a little bit of the gains or like at least the fin- financials. Oh, it has a good financials. Maganda siya, no? So, going up siya for the last four years. So, that's good in terms of income statement, no? They have good revenue. Developing manufacturing of chemicals for consumer electronics. Okay, so mukhang maganda naman to, no? So, if you wanted to enter, siguro get in at 10 and then add more at 20. Okay? So, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for joining. Tomorrow, see you again, ha? So, hopefully, you learned something new today. And if you want to join my Patreon, you can go to my Patreon account. Of course, if you want to open an eToro account, use my link, please. It's in the description box. You can also see it in the About section of my channel. Please don't forget also to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Okay? Thank you, thank you so much. See you again tomorrow. And hopefully, happy investment, uh, happy investing to everyone. And I hope you get a lot of gains today. Okay? Thank you. Bye-bye.